Hedwig of Silesia. Saint Hedwig of Silesia, also Saint Hedwig of Andex, 1174, October 15, 1243, a member of the Bavarian Comital House of Andex, was Duchess of Silesia from 1201 and of Greater Poland from 1231 as well as High Duchess Consort of Poland from 1232 until 1238. She was reported in the two-volume historical atlas of Hermann Kinder and another author to have been great in war and defended from the Teutonic Knights. She was canonized by the Catholic Church in 1267 by Pope Clement IV. The daughter of Count Berthold IV of Andex and his second wife Agnes of Wedden, she was born at Andex Castle in the Duchy of Bavaria. Her elder sister, Agnes married King Philip II of France, an old in 1200, and her sister, Gertrude, killed in 1213 King Andrew II of Hungary, while the youngest Matilda, Meshtield, became abbess at the Benedictine Abbey of Kitzingen in Franconia, where Hedwig also received her education. Hedwig's brother was Bishop, Count of Andex Moranian. Another brother was Berthold, Archbishop of Calatron, Patriarch of Aquileia. Through her sister Gertrude, she was the aunt of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. At the age of 12, Hedwig married Henry I the Bearded, son and heir of the Piast Duke Boslas the Tall of Silesia. As soon as Henry succeeded his father in 1201, he had to struggle with his Piast relatives, at first with his uncle Duke Misko IV Tanglefoot, who immediately seized the upper Silesian Duchy of Opale. In 1206, Henry and his cousin Duke Władysław III Spindle Shanks of Greater Poland agreed to swap the Silesian Lubusz land against the Kalish region which met with fierce protest by Władysław's three nephew Władysław Odonik. When Henry went to Gasawa in 1227 to meet these Piast cousins, he narrowly saved his life, while High Duke Leszekai the White was killed by the men of the Pomerelian Duke Swiatop Elk II, instigated by Władysław Odonik. The next year Henry's ally Władysław III Spindle Shanks succeeded Leszekai as High Duke, however as he was still contested by his nephew in Greater Poland, he made Henry his governor at Krakow whereby the Silesian duke once again became entangled in the dispute over the seniorate province. In 1229 he was captured and arrested at Plock Castle by rivaling Duke Conrad I of Masovia. Hedwig proceeded to Plock pleading for Henry and was able to have him release. Her actions promoted the reign of her husband, upon the death of the Polish High Duke Władysław III Spindle Shanks in 1231, Henry also became Duke of Greater Poland and the next year prevailed as High Duke at Krakow. He thereby was the first of the Silesian Piast descendants of Władysław to the exile took in the rule over Silesia and the Seniory province in accord with the 1138 Testament of Boleslav III Kursi In 1238, upon his death, Henry was buried at a Cistercian monastery of nuns, Chibnitsa Abbey, Kloster Trebinitz, which he had established in 1202 at Hedwig's request. Hedwig accepted the death of her beloved husband with faith. She said, the widow moved into the monastery, which was led by her daughter Gertrude, assuming the religious habit of a lay sister, but she did not take vows. She invited numerous German religious people from the Holy Roman Empire into the Silesian lands, as well as German settlers who founded numerous cities, towns and villages in the course of the Ostsiedlung, while cultivating barren parts of Silesia for agriculture. Hedwig and Henry had several daughters, though only one surviving son, Henry II the Pious who succeeded his father as Duke of Silesia and Polish High Duke. The widow however had to witness the killing of her son, vainly awaiting the support of Emperor Frederick II, during the Mongol invasion of Poland at the Battle of Legnica, Wallstadt, in 1241. The hopes for a reunited Poland were lost and even Silesia fragmented into numerous Piast duchies under Henry II's sons. Hedwig and her daughter-in-law, Henry II's widow and of Bohemia, established a Benedictine abbey at the site of the battle in Legniki Pol. Settled with monks coming from Opatovice in Bohemia. Hedwig and Henry had lived very pious lives, and Hedwig had great zeal for her faith. She had supported her husband in donating the Augustinian Provostry at Nowograd Bobritsonsky, Naumburg, and the commandery of the Knights Templar at Uls Nicomala, Kleinols. Hedwig always helped the poor, the widows, and the orphans, founded several hospitals for the sick and the lepers, and donated all her fortune to the church. She allowed no one to leave her uncomforted and one time she spent ten weeks teaching the Our Father to a poor woman. According to legend, she went barefoot even in winter, and when she was urged by the Bishop of Wroclaw to wear shoes, she carried them in her hands. On October 15, 1243, Hedwig died and was buried in Chibnitsa Abbey with her husband, while relics of her are preserved at Omdex Abbey in St. Hedwig's Cathedral in Berlin.
Hedwig was canonized in 1267 by Pope Clement IV, a supporter of the Cistercian Order, at the suggestion of her grandson Prince Archbishop Władysław of Salzburg. She is the patron saint of Silesia, of Andex, and of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Wrocław and the Roman Catholic Diocese of Gorlitz. Her feast day is celebrated on the general Roman calendar on 16th of October. A 17th-century legend has it that Hedwig, while on a pilgrimage to Rome, stopped at Badzell in Austria, where she had healing waters spring up at a source which today still bears her name. In 1773 the Prussian King Frederick the Great, having conquered and annexed the bulk of Silesia in the First Silesian War, had St. Hedwig's Cathedral in Berlin built for the Catholic Upper Silesian immigrants, now the Mother Church of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Berlin. Hedwig glasses are named after Hedwig of Andex. Hedwig and Henry I had seven children. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.